This segment we call fair or foul. It's really simple. I come up with a few statements and these fine too will tell me, hey, you know what, Moses? You're right. You're bang on. Nope. You're constantly wrong. You're staying wrong. We'll see how these answers go. Both foul. Two. Here we go. <laughs> well, you already made your mind up, Andrew. So I'm going to ask Nicole first. <laughs> My first uh, statement I have for you guys, I say a team should take a chance on Mark Sanchez. Or Sanchez. He is a guy who lost the starting job in D Denver. I don't know if he really retained it. And there's chances that he's going to be shipped out. A couple NFC teams have been interested. I say he, should, he deserves a chance. Consider what he did in Philly, right? Let the man play. Let him play the game. Let him spread his wings. <laughs> Can't even tell with a straight face. Like, no. I'm like, is that a is that a hint that he should go with the Eagles again? Um, Spread his wings he and would, fly. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you uh, you made that connection. That's exactly what I was going for. Okay, there you go. Well, you are wearing <laughs> eagle colors. That's unintentional. Terribly. <laughs> what do you what do you say? I know what he's gonna say. He I guess he should. He was a former starter. You put him as a backup, then yes. You always need some experience on the backup, so maybe put him in that. I don't know, Buffalo or something, too, could use a more or better backup quarterback just in case their you know, rookie kind of guy goes down. Backup of the backup of the backup? Might as well. All right, perfect. All right, how about... to hold the ball for the punt. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do something. Somebody's got to hold that paper clip, or not paper clip, but clipboard. I think that's uh, standard. <laughs> or paper clip in this case. I don't know. I don't know, water boy? Yeah, sure, why not? How about this one? I don't think you'd call him a water boy. Milos Raonic. <laughs> no. He had a heck of a uh, Wimbledon. Uh, just kind of fell short. Of, of winning it. I, for whatever reason, in my gut, have this strange feeling that he is going to win the U.S. Open, despite, you know, Novak Djokovic being there. <laughs> I still think Milos is going to win it. I'll start with you, Andrew. Fair or foul with that one? Uh, I say foul. Hardcore. I just don't. I think he's there. He's in that top four now. He should be solidified as a top four contender and maybe even a finals, but I think it's a little bit more. Maybe like one or two. Maybe next year he'll finally win that major. Well, Breath Hour might think I'm out to lunch, but I wouldn't be a good Canadian if I didn't say fair. He's going to take it. You're going to take it? Well, so I'm the girl. being positive. Hold on. It says the girl who cheered for Germany over Canada during the Olympics. It wasn't <laughs> Don't over give it a good Canada. Canadian. <laughs> I didn't cheer oh. against anyone. <laughs> go to commercial. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for that, guys. What I do you do when you're bilingual? Well, well, there you go. <laughs> Maybe you're going to have to sound off in both German and English. We'll see what happens. We're going to take our time out. And our good friend, Nicole, has something to say coming up.